Hey, what is going on everybody? It's me, Scudog. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. We're playing some more Tennis Manager 21. Uh, so last time out, uh, I asked the question what we should do because we clearly had a problem with the game. We, uh, we had everybody in our team leave, uh, even though some people were still under contract. Um, uh, and I asked whether we should start again or stick with what we've got. Um, the the response was pretty much overwhelming in that we should keep going and see what happens. One thing I am a little bit worried about is you know, the players that we've signed, are they going to do the same thing again at the end of their contracts? Are we not going to be able to renew them? Because I don't think the reason was that we hadn't achieved goals. I think the reason was was more likely that um, that we you know they, they there was a bug. I think. You know, because people who were under contract just left. Um, but either way, we've gone out, we've signed some new people, as you can see here. We're going to talk about them. There's a slight concern that I have. We're starting a season with only 222k in the bank. Uh, and that kind of reflects why some of the people that we've signed, um, I was hoping to to go and, and find someone top tier and bring them in and, and really try and push on and win something but they all wanted ridiculous sign-ons. There was sort of over a million and a half pounds for sign-ons. Uh, we can't afford that. We, you know, I'm, I'm not sure we'll get through a whole season uh, with this. So I am a little bit worried. So uh, let's, let's have a little look at who we've signed and what that means, shall we? So uh, let's, uh, let's go to the team tab and we'll start there. So uh, as you can hear, we're, as you can hear, as you can see, we've signed Letier, Letier maybe, the German, uh, 22 years old, currently ranked 75th in the world, not looking amazing, but high potential, uh, standard development rate, and uh, and a reasonable uh, current level. So I think we can get a fair amount out of, uh, of Ella here. I think she could do pretty well for us, given the right developments. Let's have a little look at the results and ranks over here. We can see that uh, uh, last year, the further she got was uh, 100 sorry was the round of 32 uh, in the Australian Open um, doesn't look like oh well, she did win win a 280 tournament which is quite nice a few uh, one quarter final and didn't qualify for a few 900 tournaments so uh, you know we're, we're looking for a big jump here as you can see over the last season there was a big rise I'm guessing with the Australian Open big rise up to 156. And then a rise up in, in week 17, which I'm guessing is the uh, is this one, yeah, the the Rabat one. And then uh, you know, there's the there's the jump. But she was on a decline a couple of years ago. So uh, who knows? Who knows what kind of player we've got here? But she looks okay. Uh, next up, we've got Nicolescu, um, the Romanian, 18 years old, um, currently ranked 707th in the world. Uh, and uh, let's have a little look. At, uh, at what she looks like. I mean, the stats don't look fantastic. Level two, three and a half star potential, standard development, not amazing. But I think from last year, I think she may have been like number one or two seed in the junior tournament. Um, so I think you know we've picked up someone who is ranked really highly in the juniors, but uh, this is the this is the first season really in the uh, in the in the or the second half of a season. Uh, in the in the women's uh, tennis ranking so we'll see how we do um, there was a round one qualifier never qualified for a tournament so that's what we're going to look to do uh, Dimitriov over here let's have a quick look at you uh, 23 year olds Andrea Adriano Dimitriov from Bulgaria uh, only five foot five um, but uh, good physical stats not great on the uh, on the on the tennis playing ability but I think what we make up for in, in physicality um, and as you can see it looks like we're playing varied play as the uh, as the approach for Dimitriev so we'll see how we'll see how he does we're not going to actually play as him um, then we got Ty Bar. we all know about Ty Bar, unless you're new around here but Ty Bar we had and we managed to re-sign uh, but now based on that I'm not convinced I'm not convinced they're any they're any good I thought they were looking like they were going to be a superstar, but when we compare them to to these guys, maybe not, maybe not. And then we've got um, Ubon from Nigeria, 
Uh, currently ranked 1,376th in the world. Uh, free star potential. Uh, again, really highly ranked in the in the juniors uh, last last year, and now has jumped up to the seniors. Uh, and as you can see, a big jump in the in the last few weeks of the season, but nothing nothing happening over here. Never qualified for anything over here. So we've got a couple of good youngsters who we're who we're going to focus on for this season, uh, and then we might jump over to Dimitrov. But uh, we're going to focus on. Nicolescu for this season and our first match is trying to qualify for the Australian Open uh, I'm not sure it's going to happen we've not played any any tournaments with her we've not played any matches with her this is the first one and unfortunately we're up against someone who's ranked 161st in the world the, the draw could have been chi China could have been kinder this is Je Jessica Pieri uh, from Italy who we're up against um I think we're going to stick. This is the first match, so I think we'll stick with what she's been doing uh, for however long. Um, high return intensity, we can definitely do that. Uh, and I think we're just going to get into this. Uh, and we have won. 7-5, 6 That is a big win. We need two more to get into the Australian Open proper. That would be a huge boost. I don't see it happening, but that would be a massive, massive boost early on in our in our career with uh, Nicolescu. So let's see how we uh, how we do. Uh, we're up against Alicia Parks, who's 192nd in the world. Um, high serve intensity. We can definitely do that. Um, again, this one's going to be a real tough one. Let's see how we do. Uh, we have lost unfortunately but we took it all the way uh a six five four six six one six seven loss we really pushed a ride to the edge disappointing uh looks like Mbom went out as well we got 11 ground for that and 11 ground for this that's the other thing i didn't mention is with all of these pretty much we're getting some big big money if we do anything so as you can see here 55 percent over here 41 percent over here uh, 26% for someone who could potentially reach the latter stages of some of these tournaments. 55% um, and I think this one's 55 as well. So if we can do anything with any of these players in the long run, we're in a good place. Um, how's she feeling after this loss? She stumbled a little, but uh, Georgina will just not, Georgiana will just not give up. Yeah, whatever. Uh, it's a major disappointment. Okay. Uh, what do you think about the bad run? What? She just beat us. She can't be having that bad of a run. And she won the round before that. Um, hold on. Is, is that our player? Hold on. Is that her actual name? Yeah, it must be. <laughs> okay. Ilona Georgiani. I Iona, maybe? I don't know. Uh, okay. Well, leave away. What do we, what do we find out? We found out that uh, we're both out. Uh, Lucia didn't even qualify for the Australian Open, or this must be the tournament prior to the Australian Open, the Sydney Open. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, and we've got some training to do, so I'm guessing at least you're in the main tournament. We've got nine grand over there, so we need to get over 161k just to stay afloat, uh, or as close to it as possible to survive for as long as possible. Who knows what happens when this comes down. Again, some improvements up here. Uh, I think Ubon has, has improved every single week. Um, we need to do some training over here. Uh, you're going to the uh, to Budapest. We need to figure out what we're going to train. Uh, so let's have a little look. I think that we need to work on forehand, backhand stats and serves. But also speed is critical and that's what I've been working on already. And we've actually already made some progress on speed. Um, it would be nice if there was... I feel like I've seen, said this before. If we come over here and go physical speed and confirm this. This is week 51 to week 52. So you can see we've already made a jump up. And we're going to try and push this even higher. Uh, so we're going to work on speed for this, for this week. Um, down here we've got the speed one in. It's heavy. But we're going to go into it and try and... Try and really push our stat development this season. Um, 
Okay. The uh, Grand Slam has started. We've got a couple of wins for both under our belt in the round of 64. We both go out in the round of 32. Not fantastic, but, you know, for, for our first our first major with these guys, I'll take it. Um, you know, we'll, we'll take it at this moment in time. Let's have a little look. 54k and 85k. So as you can see here, we've made some money this season. This is what we needed. Uh, Lutzier, I'm not sure that is, if that's how you say it, but uh, <laughs> we uh, have improved our agility over here. We've bumped up on speed. Uh, Dimitri have nothing. Tie bar, a little bit of backhand accuracy. This is what I like to see. I like to see our players actually showing improvements. Uh, so fingers crossed we can continue to see that um okay what we got going on nothing particularly exciting let's do some more training what are we thinking do we keep going do we keep going speed we might keep going speed um let's see if we can get another one in there and get it up to up to 11 why not i think we'll just really focus on you know we won't worry too much about the the physicality uh, and the tiredness I'm not too worried if we have a season where we don't really improve a huge amount. Okay, we can we can sign some contracts with Dimitriov. So let's have a little look. Um, if you win a Grand Slam or reach 15th, and this one is win a Grand Slam or reach 20th. Let's go with this. Okay, what about this one? There's only the one. Lecoq Sportif. I forgot that was... Is that still a thing? You, that used to be a thing, right? Is it still a thing? Okay, reach 35th. And over here, we've got reach 20th or reach 20th. They're both identical. Uh, we'll take them. Big money if we can if we can make any of these things happen. And we might need it. Okay. Let's get through the rest of this week as well. Okay, let's see if we, uh, if we got another week's worth of of improvement uh, nothing going on down here but huge improvements for reflexes and speed as you can see they're, they're bumping up so quickly Dimitrov up with the agility tie bar nothing going on and agility again over here for Ubon we're getting some real real improvements and I like it a lot okay I did allow our, our coaches to do all of the uh all of the, the entering us into tournaments for the first for the first month. Are we going to do speed again? I mean, we could, we could, but maybe we jump over to like serve accuracy. That doesn't seem like the the worst shout. We've got forehand accuracy. How is that doing? It's up to eleven, so maybe not. Let's let's actually work on uh, on some serve accuracy, shall we? A lot of uh, a lot of place serves going on over here. Okay. Okay. Good. I think we're good over here. So let's just go into this week. I think again we've we've said it all along that anything we can get to improve, even just a just one point over the course of the season, puts us in a better position, right? Uh, Lutzer has has gone out over here. Um, only three grand you're tired we kind of understand we are pushing you to the very limit but we're going to keep doing that we're up to we're up to 700 grand because of the uh the sponsorship stuff nice big that's very big okay week's coming to an end week five is is done we're into another week with no matches and this is i think what we want for these for these young players serve accuracy look at the boost that we got I'm guessing this takes more points uh, to, to to level up once you get higher, and that's why it slows down. Um, I'm assuming. Oh, come on, Ubon, you let us down. Okay, another week of training. We're just gonna keep. We're just gonna keep doing it. I think. We're just gonna keep pushing you as hard as we can, even though you're tired. I suspect you'll pick up an injury fairly soon, and that will be my fault. Okay, 
You didn't get anywhere with your qualifying. Disappointing. Uh, Budapest Open. We're into the last 16. Okay. Um, 126 pounds. Nice. It's good to see. Okay. You're tired still. Yeah, we hear you. Uh, we're into a semi-final with Luita. We're into a final. And we have lost to Ashley Barty. Disappointing. But we're getting to finals. We need that. That should be a bump up in the old... In the old ranking serve accuracy has gone up stamina is getting there um boosts over here for dimitriov in positioning and backhands and anticipation is almost there tie bar nothing major going on backhand accuracy almost leveling up for Ubom. okay some invites to the indian wells and some more training for us um do we keep doing what we're doing serve power wouldn't be the worst but i think we'll do another serve accuracy and see if we can keep bumping that up uh, and, and this might be this might be the the kind of episodes watching other people play and us doing a lot of training uh, but i'm i'm hopeful oh, we lost to kruger i did think about re-signing kruger um but she wanted a lot of money okay dimitriov brings in seven grand Let's see if we can reach reach the, the limit, the level again. Uh, if I go on and get injured, can you give me a few days to recover? Uh, no. Well, you got Saturday and Sunday. What are you worried about? We'll have to give her a week of, of fairly low-level training, I think. Oh, no, we've got a tournament. Okay. Well, that could be rough. Right. Another level up in stamina. Um, a little bit of boost all around for everybody else. Uh, okay, and we're into a new tournament. You're on vacation, even though you're playing. Maybe your vacation is wherever this place is. You're in you're in terrible shape. Why is that, Tybar? We'll go and have a look at you in a second. Lena Miller, Lena Miller, 840. If this is a WTL 50s tournament, we could do really badly in this for being absolutely knackered. Um, okay. We do win. 6-3, six, 6-1. Six, nice. And we're next into the next round against Emma Pittman. Um, Ubon just lost. 247 pounds. We need something better than that. Emma Pittman, 423rd, plays 687. We're seeing some improvements. I like it. Um, let's see how we do. 6-1, six, 6-2. Six, Another win. We're into a quarter final. I know it's only a WTL 50, but this is this is what we want to see. We want to see progress. Uh, okay, Taisha Paka Pakaleva, three hundred and twenty-eighth. This is the number one seed in this tournament. Three hundred and twenty-fifth plays us. Uh, high serve intensity. We'll bump that up, I guess, and we'll bring this down, and we'll see how we get on. Uh, six two zero six six three win. We march on. Uh, Dimitrov has gone out in the Open Province corner to the final. Six thousand pounds coming in for that one. Okay, and uh, here we are. We're in a semi-final against Anna Karen Zakaris. A wild card, four hundred and seventy-seventh in the world. Let's uh, let's get back to our returns, I think, and see how we do. A six-two-seven-six win. We're into a final. Uh, do you think? Uh, yeah, Nicolescu could surprise us by winning. Oh, you look skeptical, but I'm not. Yeah, why not? Are you going to prepare? It's my job to analyze next to the opponent. Yeah, that's exactly what we won't do. Uh, this is one of the best performances of the season. Uh, we win a final would be a huge accomplishment. Um, Scott, what role have you played? Are we trying to guide her? Okay. We're into a final, everybody. Lexi Stevens. This could be a monumental win for us. Let's see. This could be the first. 493. Uh, she's from the Netherlands. High serve intensity. Uh, and uh, here we go. A 7-5-6-4 win. What a moment. A win in our first tournament. I mean, granted, it only nets us 2,420 bucks. But we've actually won something. Uh, now win on a professional circuit. Of course. And I don't think this will be our last tournament. I like these ones. Um has won a professional tournament can she aim for even bigger? i think so okay 
Jane. Do you have anything to say? Um, nice. Okay. Well, there's a win. I wonder what that means for rankings. We must be up to at least like top 100 now, right? Um, let's have a little look what's going on here. Lob is improved over here. Nothing for you. A little bit of speed over here and a bit of backhand accuracy. Nice. I like that a lot. Uh, Miami Open is coming up. I wonder if I have to try and enter the qualifiers. Let's have a little look. Um, tournaments. Um, what we got going on? What week are we in? Week nine. We're looking for the Miami Open qualifiers, right? down here somewhere Madrid open qualifiers um, we'll try and enter that as well that won't that won't happen let's go Strasbourg and then a French, a French open we can't do anything for okay um, we'll give you a week off I think because I suspect you're in pretty bad shape so let's give you a week to recover and we'll keep going Ubon's gone out. Dimitriov is continuing in Acapulco. He's out to Rublev. Uh, what have we got going on? 385 pounds. 14 grand. Nice. We need more of that. I'm not going to lie. So it's the 28th. So in a normal month, all right, February was shorter, but it was a month without a Grand Slam. Uh, we're getting less than 100k uh, of what we need, um, which isn't great. I will say that I don't think we've seen you do very much at all um let's have a little look at we'll have a look at where our rankings are we should see the end of the end of the first season coming up soon i think and we'll see a little bit about where our where our rankings are um let's have a little look uh nothing going on for you bit of a rest big boosts on your rest we'll take that anticipation boost over here for for dimitriov uh tie bar not much going on uh, you've been included in Canberra. Okay, let's let's keep going. We'll get through this tournament as well. Um, a win for for Ella. I'm going to start calling Ella because I can pronounce that. Uh, we are up against Maria Marfatina. 558th place, 509th. That's quite an imp impressive increase, right? Let's see how we do. We should try and make a opponent. Let's go with with something more. Return based 6 3 6 2 win. This is a WTL 10 tournament, so we should be doing okay in that, right? Um, Lepaco 646 from Belarus 6 3 6 1. We're marching on again. Uh, nine grand coming in from Ella in the Indian Wells. Um, we're up against Emiliana Arango, 404th in the world. Um, and we have won. We lost the first set, but 7-5, 6-1 win. We go into another semi, semi final. Yana Mordega. Mordega. Um, Dimitrov is out, 11 grand in Indian Wells. Um, 498th, the third seed in the tournament. We just beat the second seed. Let's see how we do. We have one again, 6-3. No, sorry, 7-6, six, 6-3. Six, um, how are you going to prepare for this final? It's my job to analyze. Do we have to do these? Um, we can win this final together. Um, okay. We're in another final, everybody. This could be two wins on the bounce. Um, we are up against Aya Nupbe um, from Kazakhstan. Okay, balance match. Let's do this. 6-1, six, 6-3 six, win. I know it's only a WTL 10, but that's big, right? 
that's big for us. Uh, there's no rest for the weary. She'll be back to work tomorrow. Um, it's great. She's doing a grand job. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I think this is a good place to leave it. I know you guys wanted the episodes a little bit longer. I think this one is a little bit longer. Um, and I'll try and make them around between 20 and 25 minutes. Seems like a reasonable spot. I might also put some background music in. I'm not sure. Um, so we'll, we'll maybe try that for a couple episodes. Let me know your thoughts. I've got to find some background music that isn't too overwhelming um but uh, there you go it's our our first i guess our first episode in a new era of the uh of the of the tennis academy right this is big let's uh, let's have a little look at what's happened over here then so um no increases over there for many people although anticipation of return going up for Ubo. um we've got registrations for the clay season so I think we'll let staff handle yours. I think I'm going to let staff handle all of them again. Um, because the good thing about, about that is usually they don't they don't put us into... Uh, or they, they, they give us a little bit of time between them. But also it means I won't work them into the ground with too much training. Um, okay. I think if we press the button again, do we get to see like our rankings and how they've changed? Not yet. Okay, we'll have a look at that in a bit. But let's go to the team. Let's have a little look here in the results and rankings. So we can see um, the last couple of weeks there has been an improvement. We're ranked 49th at this moment in time. Uh, the uh, the jump here has been pretty, pretty drastic, I have to say. Um, from uh, 678 to uh well down here i think we were when we kind of took over uh, up to 508 so 200 places is big uh, dimitriov we're seeing a rise again so uh obviously we were over here we're, we're now back slightly ahead of where we were when we started tie bar we've not really seen much of you um and uh Ubo, Ubo is getting an improvement over here as well so all going pretty well thank you so much for watching Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Gaming. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been watching Scott Dog Gaming. Don't forget to follow on Twitch and Twitter and head over to YouTube for daily content. See you again soon.